Well, hello everybody, or should I say bonjour. <laughs> bonjour everybody. Yes. Um, we've, we're at um, a place called uh, De Caen in the Loire Valley and uh, we are parked in an air, here's mm -hmm. a little picture. Um, and you can see it's quite nice, but it, the weather's a bit rubbish. Yeah. Um, it's uh, it's rainy, it's cloudy, but you know. But we can get uh, empty a toilet here, empty a grey waste, empty and and fill up with fresh water. Mm. They charge uh, two euros fifty for the uh, water fill up, but you have to come and get a token, mm. or should I say? Jeton d'eau, the camping car. <laughs> Jeton yeah. d'eau, well done, yeah. yes. <laughs> yeah. So, and um, we came to this little shop, the uh, Viva Co. Yeah. And uh, it's a little, it's a little sort of um, spa type shop, hmm. isn't it? Um, it's got a little cafe next to it. And, uh, well, <laughs> I couldn't resist buying another bottle of wine. So I bought this, a, a, it's a Minervoir, but again, it, oh, it's 13% um, alcohol. Again, it was only €3.75, so... Um, for a little corner shop, yeah, it's very for good, a little corner it? shop. Yeah, it's a, yeah. Bonjour. Yeah, bonjour, very good. Um, mm. So it's really, really fantastic yes. uh, yeah. around. The food, we've worked out, is extraordinarily expensive. In that, that restaurant, That yeah. little... Um, Intermarche thing that we mm. did. Mm. Yeah. Move back a bit because the yeah. car wants to go that way. Yeah. Um, the the, the Intermarche shopping we did was um, 38 quid yeah. for a few bits and pieces. <laughs> it was really expensive. Mm. We didn't realise. Um, no, it's mm. not until you sort of analyse what you bought, is it? No. Especially, I don't know, you know, 40 pounds for that little bag of shopping mm. seemed. Seems like, but we did spend ten quid on wine, didn't we? And, and uh, what was it? Nine quid on beer. And ni so yeah. nineteen pounds. So the other bits of food were twenty pounds, I suppose. Mm. Which, when you think about it, maybe a little bit on the expensive side, but not too bad mm. at all. Anyway, we're going to get on and have a little bit of a wet walk <laughs> we around are. around um, to Caen get the French pronunciation Tecon, there. Tecon. Yeah. It's spelled in English you'd say it Tequant. Yeah. yeah. It's uh, pronounced Tecon. Yeah. Uh, anyway, <laughs> we're having lots of fun. Yeah, it's really nice. Um, Pippin's been having a chat with the dog that lives in the shop, the nice black Labrador, which I think yeah. is look it's sitting yeah. in the doorway, so sweet. Yeah. Down there. Look. <laughs> She's had a chat. It Language is, is no barrier for dogs. It's That's o nice. It's yes. overcast yeah. here. It's like really cloudy, and it's there's that sort of fine drizzly rain mm. and a, and a bit heavier sometimes, but it's warm. Mm. It's like about thirteen or fourteen degrees. Mm. It is warm. Yeah. It's actually yeah. quite nice. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. And in let's the bar next door, adjoining yeah. the shop, it's only men. I guess the women are at home cooking the. Sunday dinner because literally mm. there's about 20 men in there. Blue jobs and pink jobs. Well, it, I don't know. Pink, if it's pink job, cook the dinner <laughs> on Sunday. Blue job, go and drink all the wine in <laughs> yeah. the bar. Yeah. I like that idea. It's only, what's it, 12 o'clock? Yeah, 12 o'clock. Yeah. I don't like that idea. <laughs> So you can see behind me, just uh, over here, we've got all the sort of cave dwellings and uh, you know the town was sort of built from the stone carved out of the hills here. Um, it's quite a lovely place actually, it's nice and warm today even if it is wet and cloudy but it's, uh, it's a real nice, uh, nice place to come and I think it would be 
absolutely stunning in the summertime. So if you haven't been to uh, to Caen, then you should come. I think we're going to come back, um, maybe if we can in the summer, we'll sort of make our way directly here. Um, it's a really nice, nice place. Bistroglo. Um, it, it's um, it's noted as a troglodyte town. Um, troglodyte meaning hermit uh, or some some such thing like that. But you see the shops down here and the bistros and the other places. These are all supposed to be shops. But Wendy's found a little information booth there. So we're just going to go and have a look at that. Um, we just show you the little sort of statue made out of the wood carving up there, not just up there. It's little bits like that all over the town. Um, it's just wherever you look, really. You, know, you turn around and you see sites like this. Really, really lovely. Oh, this is the. Uh, public toilets in here and they have uh, all the leaflets uh, for the local stuff oh, you yeah, know just just out I mean it's it's a covered cave area with a big uh, big wooden beam supporting that there and then there's other other bits and pieces I don't know quite what these are I don't know. <laughs> to lock your bicycle up. Oh, maybe to lock your bicycles or your children. Yeah. Ah, oh, ah. locker. Oh, it's a, they're lockers. No, they open like that. They're so like you want to put things in. Bike. And then you can put a, this for bike? a lock it's through. Look, it's got to be, that's the pedals. Oh, yeah, I suppose you can put your crash helmet in there. Yeah. As well. So I'd like you to go yeah. in there. Uh-huh. Oh, well, look how lovely this is. No, it's not been cleaned for a little while because there's such like spidery things, but for a cave toilet. <laughs> look at it. It's lovely, isn't it? Steve, I think I'm going to use it, actually. It's so lovely. <laughs> I'm going to use it. Will you stop it, Pippin? <laughs> Wendy's so impressed with the toilet, <laughs> she's going to use it. Um, <laughs> there is a gate on, um, sort of a, it's a lockable, lockable gate, so I suppose they do lock it up from time to time. And, uh, well, there you are. But that's... Um, that's a little look uh, around to Caen and you, you know, maybe we'll put a couple of other pictures at the end just to show you uh, what it's like and where we're parked, uh, the air that we're parked in, um, space for six or eight I think, um, parked close together. So uh, yeah, really good, we're having a, a great time and really, really enjoying the French countryside and um, really appreciating how nice the French people are even though we can't speak French we're trying our best and looking up phrases on Google Translate um, just to find out what we should ask for and what we should say but I managed to buy a bottle of wine and a postcard and a couple of water tokens today uh, from the shop very helpful indeed so that was excellent but um, that's it for this little video. We're going to see you again soon. Thanks so much for watching. And if you've enjoyed this, please do give us a thumbs up. And if you want to keep on following our journey as we travel around Europe and the UK, living full time in our motorhome, click that subscribe button. And if you want to get a reminder so you don't miss any of our content, click the bell icon and we'll send you a reminder. Take care. Bye-bye yeah. for now. Bye, everyone. Thanks Bye. for watching.